Hey y'all, I'm Angie and this is my channel where I do stuff. If you're new here, thank you for clicking and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Today I am at the beautiful muddy Brazos River and I was going to come down here yesterday but there were some people and I know that sounds silly but I figured it was just easier to wait until there weren't people so we're here today. So there were a few things that I was hoping to find today. One would be a squid beak, and then um, another would be any type of teeth, whether it's a mouth plate or from drum fish or the ever elusive shark's teeth. I also really enjoy looking for micros like the otoliths, which are ear bones from fish and various corals. I really like the tiny little turbinolias, and then the bigger cousin, Balanophilia, and then the ones that look like camel humps called Endopacus. And as I say that, I turn around and there is a Balanophilia desmophyllum directly behind me. I found a dwarf version of this species in Waco, and I will have a link for that in the iCard. And then I turned around and found an Arcohelia singlii. If you're enjoying today's video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. If you click the notification bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video. I love these little tiny containers from Dollar Tree because you can kind of squish them down in the dirt and the wind won't blow them over and they're perfect for tiny delicate fossils. Like the Turbinolia ferretra. And I found two Endopacus McClurii's right next to each other. So I found this kind of flat rock and I think people were using it like a table to break open larger rocks. And I saw little fossils covering the whole thing that were just loose. So I decided to pick through them. Don't forget to find me on Facebook and Instagram, and I have a website too that sometimes works, but sometimes doesn't. I can't tell you how many awesome shots I have missed because I was wearing my GoPro and a chest harness and just ended up with tens of minutes of footage exactly like this. And it's frustrating because I can hear my excitement in the audio, and this happened through you know several different videos. I could hear my excitement in the video about what I found and you couldn't see it. the little makeshift tables paying off. This is a fossilized burrow called a thalassinoid. These were made in the mud of the seafloor by crustaceans. They would tunnel through the mud and eventually it would get filled up with sediment and leave a trace fossil. This is verbatim. This is a rhoda, rhoda, I don't remember, wrote us something. I've been asked by more than one person about why in the world I would spend my day sifting through soil with tweezers. And I have to say, if you have never done it on a day with near perfect weather and complete solitude with no one else on the river, then you just don't understand how meditative it can actually be. 
I know I'm leaving a lot of fossils and the reason for that is either because I already have a lot of specimens of that particular species and I don't need any more, or I can see that they're broken and the camera just doesn't pick it up for you to see. So I found this thing and it didn't look familiar. I hadn't found one before. So I went ahead and took it home and it took a little while for me to identify it once I got home, but it was one of the things that I had set out looking for in the first place. This is where I found another one of my favorites, a bryozoa called Lunalites. And they're very small, very thin discs, and they're very, very fragile. To get it out without damaging it too much, I took the dental tool and kind of did like a perforation all the way around the perimeter into the rock, and then kind of scraped away and then kind of tried to go under a little bit but if you flex it at all it's going to shatter so I was trying to get it out however I could and make it pop off the rock without having to get underneath the fossil. Well, y'all, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you're not yet and you'd like to be, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you for bearing with me through my voiceover only kind of video. And I really hope you'll join me again next week when I do more stuff. Bye!